All right, guys. Um, so I'm going to try this episode a little different. So we did oil system today. I'm going to just kind of videotape going down the oil system. And then uh, I will kind of explain to you what I did and then pop into me doing it. We'll see how that works. Let me know what you think. So here we go. All right, so I'm, I'm making the lines. It's really hard to uh, do a lot of detail video on how, how I made the, or, you know, how me measured and everything. It was just kind of building it on the fly. Um, I did a detailed video on how you assemble these AN lines a while back, uh, and you can definitely check that out, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, I'll, I'll find that video. It's, it's on the Safari Wagons fuel system. Um, I, I did some pretty good detail on how to assemble those guys. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but that is my bird. He is trying to also tell you what to do by sounding like a duck. Um, so this all worked out pretty good. It, um, it was just basically holding stuff up there and sticking it on and making a line. Um, it, was, it wasn't anything too special. Um, the only thing that's a little weary to me is how those things go up, how everything's going uphill. I have them tilted way back so it doesn't hang down. And then uh, and then that pump, according to the directions, that's TurboWorks um, scavenge pump, uh, it says that it can pull it uphill. It's not, a, it's not an issue. So... Uh, that system should work out just fine, uh, but fingers crossed that uh, we don't blow blow a bunch of oil out the exhaust. So we'll see. That's what would that's what would end up happening. All right. So apparently that wasn't recording, but I both of the I got the lines hooked up, and that was a absolute row of pain in the butt in the way they're <laughs> positioned. Um, and I have to tighten this one still once we get the exhaust out to paint it. So I got to remember to try to try to remember to do that. Everything else is tight. Just this line isn't. Um, <laughs> these lines suck. Uh, these stainless lines, they're terrible. I, I, I regret uh, trying to use them. So it's something I, I think I would recommend if you're going to do this kit to buy some lines and some fittings so that you can do this part yourself. And not use these lines these are they're really really bad they're like super twisted and you cannot get them straight now all right so i'm running an-8 line um you could probably get away with running just a rubber line that's meant for oil and barb fittings instead of an fittings like i'm doing on all this there shouldn't ever be any pressure in this side of the system um, this is just the return side it's open vent into the into the pan um and that pump is it, it should never be building pressure it should just be returning the oil to the pan um so just barbs and clamps and some good rubber line would probably be sufficient i'm actually able to use the factory brake line clamps they have an extra opening for a larger line so quarter inch line so that worked out pretty slick And here I am running the line. So uh, we just did steel brake line. Uh, you could also use quarter inch copper. Uh, would work just fine uh, for oil pressure line. Um, it may actually be easier to work with if you'd rather do that. Um, you can get that at a hardware store. These are rubber coated zip ties. So they have a rubber, a really soft rubber on one side. So you can zip tie to things like that without worrying about the zip tie eventually cutting through it. Right in through here, uh, the opening ends up being on the top. So I ran the brake line up and over um, and then it starts clipping in again. Um, and just make sure if you, when you do stuff like this that you're pulling, making sure that these lines aren't touching each other. Um, otherwise they could wear through each other eventually. This hose would not fit with the brake line down there. It, it did physically fit, but it is tight. It is touching the floor pan and the, and the frame at the same time, um, which you don't want to do. So I ran that 
kind of did an extra loop around and then it has its own little ties there for a second and then no more no more extra brake line uh, clips so now we're using these cable straps and then we're at the front um, okay so I intentionally did not tie that to the frame right there and that is so the engine can move around and this line isn't doesn't have a, a hard point where it's flexing on it has the flex is going being distributed so that should work for a long time eventually we will probably put a braided line going from the bottom of the oil filter housing which is that bottom port below your sender there um, we will have a braided line going from there to the frame rail. Uh, we will probably upgrade that when we upgrade the turbos later on. All right, so now I'm doing the punch and tap. Uh, I, after this is done, I screwed up on the video, so it went into time lapse like halfway through. Um, it, I will show you into a piece of scrap on, on the bench so that you can actually see the process and see how it works. Okay, the good news is it's Thick, it's thicker than I was uh, expecting it to be. So uh, I don't, I, I find that if you, you could put grease on this thing, which is how we're going to do the, uh, which is how we're going to do the tap, uh, and that'll make the chips stick. Uh, but if you go real slow, they kind of stick to it anyway, just naturally with no lube on it at all. I think. Let's hold that up there and see if that's deep enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it, and then we're gonna actually take a look inside and make sure that we're not gonna hit anything with the chisel. in there. I'm going to turn on my flash. Try it again. Let's take a look at that. So there is something in there. All right, so it looks like we had about three inches or so before we hit. That's the baffle. Uh, I was afraid it was an oil pump. The five fours have an oil pump pickup that appears to go down the center, and the four sixes are off on the passenger side. Um, so now I'm tapping it. You pack the tap full of grease so that the chips stay in it. Um, and then I was just using a magnet to get anything else out, uh, and I'm checking it. So on a pipe tap, you usually will go down about three quarters of the way on, down the tap, um, but I usually will stop at about half and then check the fitting, because uh, there is variance in fittings. Uh, check the fitting, make sure it bottoms out right, uh, and then kind of go from there. But usually you'll, you'll have to go at least halfway down the tap before you'll have to do it. Um, now I'm flushing it out with... Um, it's a mix of WD-40 and oil, and all I'm doing is just trying to flush anything that went into that pan out the bottom. That worked out so good. I am so happy how well that worked out. Um, so if here's my word of warning though. Um, I did a bunch of uh, a bunch of research, a little bit of research on the configurations of this engine. So most four sixes all appear or all the four sixes appear to be coming down with the oil pump this way. On some of the five four pictures I was seeing, it was coming down the center basically right where this oil fitting was going to be if that is the case on yours if you're doing this on a 5.4 definitely look into that a little bit before you go and try to do uh, this method on yours 
Okay, punch and tap on your oil pan for a turbo return. Here we go. All right, so that bit I'm using is basically a step bit without steps. It, it just came from Harbor Freight. Um, but I like it because the, when, when you punch through, it doesn't actually uh, shoot through on you. And the chips tend to stay in it, so I felt like I had a little bit more control. So the diameter of my punch there is the exact diameter that it should be for the pilot for quarter 20, or for quarter pipe, I mean. And um, you may have to get creative. I got really lucky, <laughs> but uh, you may have to get creative and grind yours down. Um, now I'm just gonna run the tap through, and I'm just gonna go straight to three quarter, uh, three quarters of the way through on that. That's uh, simply just the demonstration anyway. And uh, it works out pretty good. All right, guys, so that was all I could get done um, working and then working on this. Um, so we will see you again on Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to try to get the exhaust off, weld it all up, paint it, wrap it in fiberglass, the exhaust wrap, and heat treat it, and then put it back on. So that's going to be my goal for Wednesday. So hopefully I can get that done. So we will see you then.